Hello viewers, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Today, we're carrying on pretty much exactly where we left off, despite how long it took me to get to this point. <laughs> um, I mentioned in a previous video, I think, that I reinstalled my computer, so I had to get all the way back up to where I was um, at the end of the last episode. So, I'm back where we were now. So, um... Uh, if you're watching this, like, all the all of the playlist in a row, then um, this won't really make much difference to you. But it's been quite a while since I've recorded this game, so okay, let's go talk to the magic mirror. Uh, I suggest that you only watch this video if you've watched the first episode. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Okay, let's ask him about mirror, faith. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Let's have a look at faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. That's weird. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. That's weird. Maybe she's like not dead then. It's all a ruse. That, that'd be a awesome twist. Okay, show me Faith's father. Show me Faith's father. The old <clears throat> king. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. What about Prince Lawrence? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh shit, he's dead as well. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Okay then. Thanks, Mirror. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Let's a go. Oh, phone. Sorry, I have to get that. <clears throat> Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. It's me, Toad. How you doing, Toad? You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait. Hang on. Boy! Shit. Hey! Oh, what we better go over there. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know, I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, 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 go to Toad first. Toad's in trouble. Whenever you're ready. We'll go to Toad's first. If we can. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Frogs, toads, even. Big, big shit. Listen, right? Oh. There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You toad, he did it? toad, Toad. What's her husband's name? Let's go, Toads. Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Okay. Well, let's go see Toad. Toad sounds like he's in trouble, so I thought it'd be best to go and see him first. 
there's probably like some kind of negative effect you get from that. Like, um, you're supposed to go see Prince Lawrence or something, but, well. The woodsman's apartment. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Well, it's the first time I've seen the game in daytime. Day. Oh, shit. Is somebody up there? Hey! Hey! Who the hell is that? Here. Where'd he go? The hell? Shit. How did he get away? What is going on over there? Toad, are you being a bad father? Okay, let's go downstairs. What's going on? Is that his son? Toads? I think. I thought he had a daughter. Be nice in there, oh, okay? Just, uh... Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! <laughs> Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Oh, uh, that kid knows something. Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, <laughs> Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This I'm is for your own safety, on. Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All I right, want to know what's right. going on. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Now, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? You're not very talkative. It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Um, why the smash lamp? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Yeah, no. I don't believe you. Oh, busted lock. Latch, whatever. Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. 
I don't believe you, Toad. What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna question you. Hold on. What's over it first? Is that blood? Well, it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Hmm. You're being a very unbelievable person right now. Okay, I'm looking at a window. Oh, what's that? Okay, I like this series. It's all very, um... It's all very calm and slow paced compared to my other videos. So it's nice to just sit down and play it. This is a very story based game, so uh, it's nice to just sit and wonder about. Oh, how did I not see that before? There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's. that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was. I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. You say it was your hand. If you're you gonna can't. say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, Such a liar. Of events, really. <sighs> Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're lying. <laughs> I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. Know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Yes, you are. You bullshitting little toad. I'm a question you now. Oh wait, no. I didn't want to go in there. Damn it. No, I want to talk to you. Never been good with the feminine duties. <laughs> Own body stuff with my clumsy hands. I'm clean, Toad. Toad, I know you're lying about the blood. What, what do you mean? I'm not lying. Oh I cut my myself God. on the poker thing. Come on, you said you cut your foot, you said you cut your hand, and that much blood? Mmm, it's not adding up, buddy. You're such a liar. You want me out of here? I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Ugh. I'm starting to very dislike what you, Toad. It? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Bigby. There's nothing going on. I hate you. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I want to hit him while there's kids in the other room. I'll scare him, at least. Okay, what's going on here? Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though earlier. 
He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I'm going to find out what's happening, Toad. Right. Don't make me come over there and hit you, Toad. What is it, mate? Don't make oh, me hit you. I don't now, want to. You know what happens if you don't. We've already been through this, mate. I would slap the shit out of you. You know, I'm just gonna leave it. See what happens. Fine. Okay. I can't leave without, like, hitting him or something. So I'm guessing I have to do that. Oh, what's this? That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It was the lamp. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? I will hit that you in a minute. Used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing. And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries, it's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you? It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Also, it's the same mark on the table. Toad, please, stop lying. It's just gonna make it worse for yourself. There's some marks here, on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. <laughs> oh. Well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You were the, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Yeah? God's sake, so you don't have spare keys. Why didn't you let you in? was home. Why didn't he let you in? It was in the middle of a sodding night, Big B. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Big B, come on. I'm okay, begging fine. for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please, just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Oh my Jesus god. Christ, what more do you want? I will punch him so hard in a minute. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Ugh, <sighs> god damn it. I was so close. Mr. Ooh. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Well, thought he had. I don't know. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me what back in. Oh, it's been a whole morning. I could 
tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there or was going there, but he said something about it. I would have told oh, you. God. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal <laughs> nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Ah, it's probably the donkey skin thing. Why was it hidden up there? I suppose I didn't want to find it. There you go. Donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. There's a note. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? He belongs to Don't Lawrence. make it a dilemma. Fine. Let's just keep it for now. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Okay, let's go. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Toad Jr., right. Just trying to figure out what TJ means. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Wonderful. Our only lead, really. This is such a... That way. This is such a slow-paced game that I keep forgetting I'm actually recording, and I'm just like, oh, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Focus. Oh. <laughs> uh. That's why I like this game. It's, it's nice and relaxing. And chilled. So much so that I keep forgetting them actually recording. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's focus on what we uh, We need to question Lawrence. We're here to question Lawrence. Okay. Him up on the I need to run out of time on that. Cross him off keep forgetting that we have time okay. limits on the question things what as well. I just. I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. That's racist! <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's go inside. Hello, Prince! What's um... Can you hear me? Let's just go inside. Ew, smell bad in there. No, what's up with the colors? I'm guessing that's lighting thing. He's dead. She. Oh my god. Go get help. Um. Go get help. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no. you. No! No! What, you're not dead yet? Jesus. You got a hole in your head! Oh yeah, but you're a fable, so um... What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Quick, go out of the kitchen, get some water. Ah! How do I drive? Go, 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 go. 
Gotta help this dude, he's gonna die. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Sorry, what? I don't believe that Faith did this. So, who did it? Do you still have that letter? Now we should open it. Should I open it? Yes. O not sure open it. Right. Open it. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. <clears throat> what does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here. That sucks. And find whoever did this. He's got a lot of posts. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Hmm. Let's have a look about. What's this? Is that a bullet hole? Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. Could have killed himself. a knife. Could be the knife that chopped off Faith's head. <clears throat> Mirror showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Getting very suspicious. <clears throat> Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Oh, God, what's in there? What is that? Is that one of those pull-out beds? It's a panel of some sort. It's one of the pull-out beds. Okay, cool. Note! It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Jesus. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Hmm. Okay. Well, a lot of stuff going on. Look at the gun. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. And what is this? Medicine? Pills? What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. There's so many ways he could have killed himself in this room. He could have killed himself using the knife, could have used the gun, could have used the pills. There's so many ways this guy could have died. 
But I, I'm thinking it's the gun, you know, because the hole in the Matches head. the caliber of the gun on the floor. Hmm. Okay. Back out. This is a very long, um, game. Okay. Let's, um, look at the bookcase. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. <sighs> Who reads books these days? I mean, it's all about that Kindle, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stay here! After him. He was the guy at Toads. No! Oh, Snow White, you a badass. Okay, let's go. Cool. We gotta catch that dude. He's the guy who beat Toad over the head and probably murdered Lawrence. After him. Come on, come on. Hey! Oh, oh yeah, stop! Weedle down, that's right. <laughs> Leave me alone! Hey, further door, further door. Ah! Yeah, watch out. Watch out. Ah, oh, quick time events, man. Oh, you alright, dude? Okay. After him! Uh, that way. You stayed on his trail. Nice. There was a wobbly um, number on the door, so I thought I'd better go through that door because it probably knocks it over. Oh, that's close. Ouch. Go, Bigby, go. Oh, thank you for those useful dust trails. After him. Bigby is such a badass. <laughs> Stop right there. Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... Why'd you run? Son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A you... man's dead. I know how it looks. But I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Who's your boss? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Ah, shit. You almost looked peaceful. Damn you, Tweedles. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. What happened? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Okay, come on, let's go. <clears throat> I need a 
stretch. <laughs> Oof. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I don't I just know. Feel a step behind. I think it was the wood. That's an uncomfortable more. feeling. I think it was somebody. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks I for I wish you. there was... Awkward. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... She's got such angry eyebrows. Big BS. Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised... Are you the gatekeeper? Are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Snow appreciate that. Yay. I don't know. I want to be it's nice to a people. broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. That's kind of a dick move. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not that <clears throat> much. Maybe this isn't for me. Stick I with it. Public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Okay. There we go. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Hey, he's a pimp. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. Okay. Big God, this is a long episode. <laughs> I... Um, just be careful, please. Oh my God. <laughs> this game is so long. Same goes for you. I will. Uh, I swear this game is like 80% cutscenes. Oh my god. This this game this isn't really a game, it's more of an interactive movie than anything else. It's a story-driven movie, if that makes any sense. Oh. Come on, game, load! Okay. 
Right. The Trip Trap Bar. The Bronx. God, it's... My God, this is such a long episode. <laughs> so many cutscenes. There's a lady. There's a dude. What do you want, Sheriff? So rude. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. I, why is everyone such a bitch? <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Who are you? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? What a drink, how you? I'll be nice. How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? So rude. Oh, right now, right now. Before I do any more, I'm gonna leave that episode there. If you guys like this extremely long episode, <laughs> oh my god, there's so many cutscenes in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that episode there. If you like this video, shoot that like button like a trooper, and I'll see you next time. But that'll be all for now, so. Bye bye! Good day to you, man. His name is Derek. If you shoot my horse, I will kill you. Oh, you're so cute, even with your one messed up eye.